I'm going to start talking about just center of gravity, uh, weight shifts, uh, weight shifts being anticipations. So let's just take a look at this video clip. If I want to find where my center of gravity is, you just look at me as like a silhouette. There's all this mass, right? The easy way to just see where my center of gravity is is just divide that mass in half, right? And this is a super easy pose to do that with uh, because I'm standing very symmetrically. So now in my video, right now I'm trying to lift my uh, screen left leg, this leg, and you can see that it's only barely, I can only barely get it off the ground. And while I'm doing that, I'm also shifting my weight a little bit over this leg. So it's, it's almost impossible to lift your leg if your weight is not on the opposite leg. I mean, you can do it very little, but you end up shifting your weight over anyways. So now here's another clip. And if I go ahead and do my center of gravity on this one, it's over this leg, right? So now I'm free. I'm free to lift this leg up and do whatever I want with it. And you'll see there that I'm teeter-tottering, <laughs> balancing a little. But even when I'm balancing, if you look at what happens when I balance, is uh, so my center of gravity is over this leg, right? And when I balance, my hips go this way, and my head goes this way, but my center of gravity is still staying the same. So like the mass that's on this side of the screen, and the mass that's on the opposite side of the screen, are, are countering each other. Like the head is going one way, and then there's the opposing action of the hips going the other way. So the whole time I'm staying in balance, even while I'm moving how you would consider off balance. The first principle and the easiest one of body mechanics is that you can't lift a leg up unless, unless your weight is over the other leg. So here, my leg is over this one, and I can obviously lift up the other leg. And then I shift weight, and now I can lift up the opposite leg. I recommend if you guys ever are dissecting video reference or stuff like that, you want to look for where the weight shifts are. So you'd want to see like, okay, here are my hips. They shift over to here before my leg even lifts up. They continue shifting over a little bit to here while my leg lifts up. In my blocking pass, I always put in my weight shifts um, because your weight shifts usually lead. They usually are anticipations for you lifting up your leg. This is my first key. This is A. And then I would do when my weight is shifted but my leg is still contacting B. And then when my leg is up, C. And so that would be my three main poses for my shot, my three main uh, storytelling poses. This is interesting. This happens whenever Whenever you have a prop or an object, it becomes part of your weight. It becomes part of your, your center of gravity, right? So right now, if you look at my center of gravity, it is over my feet. Looks like it's on the back of this foot. So I move the other foot, obviously, because my weight is over that one. I reach in and I pick up this chair. And what's interesting, what happens is when I pick up the chair, right, my feet right here are my base. When I pick up the chair, I bring it back over my base. So, bam. So what happens is now the chair is incorporated into my center of gravity. So whenever you have a prop or an object that a character picks up, that becomes part of their, of their mass. It becomes part of uh, determining where their center of gravity is. Okay, so in this clip, I turn my head I look before I go. If you look at this pose, my weight is on this foot. Right? My weight is more over this leg. It's somewhere between them because I'm actually supporting my weight a little bit, a little bit with the tip of this foot. So my weight is actually somewhere around there, right? And since I'm gonna lift this this front leg up, I have to shift my weight back before I do that. So I shift my weight back. To this leg, and then I'm I'm free to move the other one. So another thing that's interesting about weight shifts, especially in this video clip, is my weight shift is in anticipation. 
It's in anticipation before I start walking the opposite direction. So what happens is I anticipate backwards before I go around and move forward. So a lot of times weight shifts are anticipations for other actions. 